with the PSO2 coming up very, very soon in Quo Beta here in North America, now seemed like a good time to go over each of the races and the backstory and what you can expect to have in the beta when deciding which race you want to side with and which character you want to create. So over the next few videos, we are going to be going over each and every race in detail as far as the stats, the jobs, and of course the backstory. So if you don't want to miss out on any of the useful information, make sure you do the like, favorite, subscribe, and hit that bell so you will know when the next video comes up all about the net weights and the list. And with that, we're going to start off at the top heel with the basic of pretty much 90% of the races inside of Fantasy Star Online 2, which is of course the humans. The humans are a weight that is not the best, not the worst, probably the most balanced, but at the same time, story-wise, it not looked at as one of the fondest. Mainly since the human itself is a group of people who decided they wanted to have more and more like the human weight truly do by creating the the Newmans, beasts, which don't play too heavily in PSO2, cats, and a few others as well. So the humans are pretty much a weight that originally wanted to gain the ability to control the magic around them a little bit better. Created other ways than known as the Newmans, who sadly didn't exactly walk out with them, but a little bit better than some of the adults since they were originally made as super weapons to be more superior to human which we will cover in our next video and with that they also created the cats which they was hoping to use as pretty much slave that ended up not going as a plan thanks to a small little robot rebellion that once again we will get to later but the humans as a whole though fat for a little bit into the future after a giant war had broken out between most of the races over the three major planets in the universe. At the end of the 500 year war, decision was made for each of the races to pretty much get their own planet. Well, the humans, on the other hand, for whatever reason, decided to not be the most selfish weight for once and decided that they are fine living on a planet in peace or with the Newmans, mainly showing it through a, a treaty that was created between the two species. After so long fighting in that war and also being not exactly the bet with creating all the other races, pretty much burning them all in one way or another, pretty much the humans are not looked at as the most fonded race in the galaxy, mainly because of the more shady or paths. And then also, as far as like stats and abilities and adeptness to the universe, they not really the best overall. So because of that, a lot of the other ways they look down upon them as being way more inferior when it comes to abilities. But with that backstory leading into PSO2, you might be wondering what type of classes do we actually have for the humans? The best way to look at the humans, honestly, is just as a jack of all trays. They are not exactly the best at any Pacific class, but can easily adapt to any playstyle that you might be interested in with them, which is honestly if you someone who want to take advantage of the job system and the class system in PSO2, might not be such a bad thing if you really want to do some matching and matching, but if you are looking for a class that is way more focused on a certain playstyle that you've been used to in other MMOs, the humans may May not be exactly up your alley but if you want to have fun and play with all the classes and just see how they work they not a bad choice to begin with but if you do want a human that is a little more powerful not by all that much of course you might want to look at the male version of the human since the gender do have a little bit that distant but most of the time usually the that break down to only about one or two percent distant between the genders the male on the human side is a little bit better at far of a hunter ranger so if that's something that interests you might want to keep an eye on the stats 
for each of the gender and races here. So with all that being said, the human race overall is a fairly decent one to get your feet wet inside PSO Online 2. And honestly, with the stats being the most even across the board, it also not so much having to worry about trying to figure out which job would be better for the humans. Like I said, the downside of the human is since they are a jack of all trades, master or none, they do have a little bit of a drawback if, once again, you want to have a more focused experience such as a hero or a tank. And with that, that will pretty much wrap up the humans in a nutshell. With that being said though, there is a few little tidbits that are going to start popping in into some of the other races since the humans are the basis to, for pretty much every single race in Fantasy Star Online 2. So with that, make sure you do like, favor, subscribe so you don't miss the next video since the plan is to put out one race and character video every single day for the rest of that week leading up to uh, the beta launch in North America for Fantasy Star Online 2. And with that, hopefully you will join me for that. Since the plan is as of now, once the beta go live, roughly about 30 minutes before, I will be live over on twitch.tv slash pony show. Well, I am going to be doing pretty much a 24 plus hour stream, pretty much going as long as I humanly can before I fall asleep on my keyboard. As we play through Fantasy Star North America and see what exactly the beta have to offer and to also get a little bit of head thought for the North American release. That would do it for me. Let me know in the comments if the humans is interesting at all as far as what you're going to play. Or are you planning on playing a distant way? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the comments. Okay good so there's actually a vibe everybody. So if we do that. One more round and we'll probably be dead. Because you kind of did, Riku.